Hey, welcome back everyone. How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Uh, on this video, I'm going to be showcasing high dynamic range gaming interest group mode that is under dynamic tone mapping. So what does HGIG does? And I will talk about this as we go throughout uh, this video. Hopefully this will make sense to you. The whole point of HGIG is to give you a best possible high dynamic range highlights or for the lack of a better term the best possible uh, ratio between the black digital levels and white digital level so that way you can have the best possible highlights on your high dynamic range and that's what really uh, the whole purpose of high dynamic range is to give you that dynamic picture okay now when we talk about the black digital levels when we talk about the the white digital levels uh, you cannot crush your black digital levels you cannot over bright your white digital levels. so it has to be balanced and it has to be equally uh, there has to be equilibrium between the two and I'm trying to dissect this in the basic terms alright so that's what it does in a nutshell now you're gonna ask well why is it under dynamic tone mapping well that's a good question the reason it's there under dynamic tone mapping commonly known as DTM dynamic tone mapping basically what it does it uh, enhances a brighter uh, HDR levels okay this dynamic tone mapping only works when you have HDR content when you don't have HDR content, you cannot use dynamic tone mapping. And that's the whole purpose of dyna dynamic tone mapping is to enhance those HDR brighter levels. Now, the problem with just having the dynamic tone mapping turned on is, yes, it does brightens up the, uh, the HDR, but at the same time, it's not as good as HGIG it doesn't have that equilibrium okay when I turn it on it's too bright see like how bright it is right here right now well now we are overblowing our white digital levels on this snow and that's not a good thing now when I turn it off you will see right here I don't know if you can see it or not uh, it doesn't do that much of a great job now with HGIG you will notice right away especially right here if I position where the snow is right here with the uh, HGIG you will notice just how more definitive uh, the snow looks when I turn the HGIG on here you can maybe maybe you can see it here maybe not I'm recording this in HDR so hopefully this will help but anyway here let me turn it on see like right here there's a much better definition of the snow the shadows of the snow okay when you turn it off it becomes more bleak and more dimmer hopefully the HDR me recording this in HDR you will be able to see that okay here I'll show that to you again right here you see how better it is The reason I'm showing the snow because you can only notice this the camera can only depict this on the white uh, digital levels okay and that's what HGIG does it's really it's it's a contrast ratio really that's what it does it, it adjusts the contrast between the white digital levels and black digital levels you know and uh, maybe I should do a separate video to talk about contrast the contrast ratio how is that being measured etc etc what, what I try to do on my videos and the whole point of my channel was to explain this to every Joe everyday Joe everyday Trivon everyday Mary everyday Joanna everyday Karen okay for the lack of a better term so that way you can understand in the basic terms as to what I'm talking about and now when we turn it off, obviously, 
maybe I can bring my camera a little bit closer. Maybe you're gonna see this if I bring it a little bit closer. So I'm gonna try to do, I'll try to bring it a little bit closer like this. And maybe you will be able to see it. You see, when I turn the HGIG, like right here, let's see where my finger is. You see a much better uh, definition of that snow. When I turn it off, it becomes more bleaker. Yes, it enhances the highlights, but those highlights are much better defined with HGIG instead of just your regular dynamic tone mapping. Guys, and it doesn't really matter if the game is supporting HGIG or doesn't support HGIG, it doesn't matter. HGIG will do its job. It's gonna make sure that it equalizes that uh, dynamic range between black and white digital levels, okay? And it's gonna brighten up those highlights in a much better contrast. That's all about that contrast, okay? Maybe I can showcase this a little bit more. And that's why I'm recording this in uh, HDR. So that way, maybe if you're watching this in HDR, if your uh, device supports HDR, then you might be able to see this a little bit better. I don't know. I hope, I hope you can see it. Like right here, right next to Ellie, right here. I hope you guys can see it. See where my finger is? Now you, you, everything's dimmed. So this means that now our black digital levels and white digital levels don't have a good ratio. And when we turn the HGIG, HGIG will equalize that and give us a better ratio. You see that? Where the snow is, where my finger is? See it? Now, if you were to go to Vincent Teo or those other guys or AVS forums or art things or who have who have you these days they're gonna drop a bunch of technical jogger bunch of technical language they're gonna jump they're gonna throw right at you and uh, you're gonna get confused okay I'm speaking for everyday people everyday Joe Schmo okay that's who I am trying to appeal to, all right? Because there's a lot of people out there who don't know about this stuff. They're not familiar about this. So I try to appeal to them. I'm not doing this for professionals. Professionals, they know this. They're not gonna watch my videos because they already know all about this stuff, okay? They're not gonna waste their time. I'm trying to appeal to you guys who are not familiar with this, so that way you have better understanding why you wanna use HGIG. And HGIG only works when you have your HDR content turned on. If you don't have HDR turned on, you cannot use the HGIG. Meaning this only works, dynamic tone mapping will only work under HGIG, okay? Uh, I mean, it will only work, excuse me, it will only work if you have high dynamic range content, meaning if this game doesn't have HDR turned on, then I won't be able to use HGIG, meaning you gotta have high dynamic range UHD color turned on and this game has to support HDR. That's the only way you can use HGIG, all right? I wanna make that very clear. Dynamic tone mapping, DTM, only works under HDR UHD color turned on and your program has to support that HDR metadata that HDR 10 metadata if it doesn't support that HDR 10 metadata you cannot use dynamic tone mapping okay so I just want to clarify that and this is the reason why you want to use HGIG all right before we before we leave I want to show you um, one more level in the game here uh, on The Last of Us Part 2 so you can see exactly what, what else I'm talking about in terms of HGIG. We'll go back to the forest and I'll try to show you some more highlights on the HGIG. Well, for example, right here, here we are next to Gustavo, the guy who uh, created the soundtrack for the first 
uh, Last of Us, and of course the the part two, the sequel. That's Gustavo right there. In case you guys didn't know, right here. That's him. I didn't know until Neil Druckmann pointed out that that's him. That's Gustavo, the guy who created the uh, soundtrack with the guitar. So. Why am I showing you this part of a Jackson uh, level of The Last of Us Part 2? Because you will see, currently right now, my HGIG, it's turned off. And I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it just doesn't look that good when it's turned off. I mean, you still have HDR, it's still HDR, but there's something missing. There's that that contrast that that's missing, you know, that equilibrium, I like to call it, for the lack of a better term. For to talk in layman terms and basic terms, um, it 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 misses that equilibrium to enhance those highlights to give you that better ratio between your black level, uh, black digital levels, and your white digital levels. And I want you to see just what happens, the kind of increase of detail that you get when you turn that HGIG on. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Here, I had to bring in my camera a little bit closer just to kind of point out what I was talking about here. Uh, it, you have to remember it's really difficult for camera to depict what your own two eyes, retinas, are seeing. Okay, this will always look better in person. Okay, I'm not making this video to to show you the holy grail. Uh, you'll just have to take my word for it, okay? Uh, That's not my first time, my first rodeo with the OLED. Uh, I've tested a bunch of OLEDs in the past three years. I've tested a bunch of TVs in the past uh, few years. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I was doing the, the television, no one else was doing it. People start following after me, which I'm honored, to be honest with you. Nobody was doing this when I was doing it. But that's fine. I don't want any credit. It's fine. Uh, so HGIG definitely helps and it's a awesome feature to have uh, With the C10 on top of everything else that this all it has as a matter of fact uh, recently. I was reading in um, Digital trends gave it that this is the best uh, OLED that LG has created the C10 and I have to agree uh, this TV really packs the features that I haven't seen in previous years. You really have everything that you need on this television from excellent low latency, picture quality, tons of features, tons and tons of features that you're not going to find anywhere else. I hate to break it to you, but uh, if there is another television that has all of these features combined, uh, I'm all eyes, I'm all ears. Not to mention that you're getting a, a much brighter version of the OLED. Okay, and I know people are going to say, but what about the burn-in? What about the burn-in? Well, I'll tell you what. I still have my E8 after two years, and I still haven't gotten any static imagery. And I watched ESPN righteously. I watched Fox Sports 1, NBC Sports 1. I watch CNN, MSNBC, I watch all of those channels. I watch History Channel with that History logo constantly. Guess what? Nothing. Not not one single static image. Not one single problem. All right. Now, if you are forcing something to happen, well, then it's gonna happen. All right. Just like just like everything else in life. Uh, I don't know. I hope. Um, I hope this kind of gives you a little demonstration on the HGIG. Uh, this video is recorded in HDR, so if you have HDR, make sure you uh, move your brightness, peak brightness, while you're watching this video, because this video is going to be uh, sending that HDR metadata through this camera, because this is recorded in HDR, and uh, hopefully you are watching this with the HDR turned on and make sure you have your uh, your peak brightness all the way high. So yes, HGIG, definitely you should use it. 
but the only way you, you're gonna realize how good the HGIG really is is when you uh, see this television in, in person when you experience this in person okay uh, looking through a camera looking through a compressed video on YouTube uh, it's not gonna do it justice nor am I making this video to make that point I'm just simply uh, trying to point out certain things to clarify to you why HGIG to me it's a pretty cool feature for HDR especially for gaming you're really gonna love this especially for gaming you're gonna love it 100% and even for movies you have a filmmaker mode which you can use to watch your movies again I haven't even scratched the surface I'll, I'll probably have to make a separate video I told LG I'll probably have to make a separate video just to to name every single feature that's available on this OLED C10 series and God knows what they're gonna do with a C11 right and imagine what they're gonna do with a C12 when it comes out whenever well there you have it guys I hope this uh, this helps out and uh, I know this video is long but uh, this was the only way I can do it man uh, I cannot cut it down make it shorter this was the only way I could do it because I'm trying to explain this in basic 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 terms and I hope I did a good job but if I didn't well I tried my damn best all right thank you for watching have a good one take care